Hello everyone, Mr. Bean 35000 vr here and today I'm bringing you a brand new tutorial on how you can play Wii games online via WeemFi via a brand new method that came out very recently uh, developed by the same guy who made the internet channel exploit from before, Full Metal 5. This time we've got an even simpler method, would you believe, and a much more reliable method uh, that I would recommend to anyone who isn't particularly advanced and would like to play their Wii games online once again uh, but doesn't want to mess around with SD cards, computers, or homebrew, or has difficulty using the internet channel trick from before. So, for this tutorial, you don't need any particular know-how, nor do you need any special devices. You just need a regular Wii console. This does not work on Wii U, and an internet connection configured on your console. This tutorial is going to be operating under the assumption that you already have an internet connection set up. So please make sure you've got one of those. Nintendo have guides on how you can set those up for your console because at this point there are still some games that actually have their official online services so they haven't taken the tutorials down, there has been no need. But anyway, let me show you what you need to do. So first of all, to get yourself set up for this you need to go into the Wii system settings over here and click the Wii settings button here. Now, this is important if you are using an American version of the console or basically anything that's not in English, obviously the text is not going to look exactly like this because for some reason with uh, with American English they decided to translate the interface twice separately uh, with different words that basically mean the same thing but mean that, you're, that what you see may not be identical to this just follow while I'm clicking so when you get into the Wii system settings you want to scroll to page 2 then click the third button internet here then click connection settings and then I'll select your connection that you've got configured I'm going to use this one, this is my test connection, then click change settings. You want to scroll to the right until eventually you find auto obtain DNS. Click no. Click advanced settings. Then click on the primary DNS and enter 46.4.79.141 and click OK. In the secondary DNS Enter 8.8.8.8 .8 and click OK. So if you're wondering what these are, this primary DNS that's, that we've inserted here it belongs to WeemFi and the second one belongs to Google. So if you, if you don't want, just for the records, if you don't want Google to be your secondary DNS, you can leave it blank, it's fine. But this means that uh, various features that the WeemFi doesn't, DNS doesn't support will be handled by Google instead, which might be useful for some people anyway. Click Confirm and click Save. The Wii will now ask you for a connection test. Click OK and let it do the test. It should test successful. If it does not test successful, it, it may mean one of a few things. It could mean that your internet connection was not set up correctly, unlike what you thought, and you should review it. You entered the DNS wrong, or you're on a connection that does not, does not support having a custom DNS inserted in the first place, in which case, unfortunately, this tutorial will not work for you. However, I would recommend just rescanning everything before you rule it out as a lost cause. When the test succeeds, it will ask you if you want to perform a system update. You can do it if you want, but there is absolutely no need to do that. After that, at the top, click Use this connection, just to make sure that it is properly selected, and it will say Use connection, whatever number you selected, then click Back and click back. And that's now that's the, all the prior setup that you need to do to uh, play online again. Now I need to show you what you what you have to do in order to actually uh, actually get this underway. Now keep in mind that you are actually going to need to do these steps every single time that you want to play online. So this is not a permanent patch and you're going to need to do so yeah, you need to do it every single time. These are the instructions that you need to follow whenever you want to play online. So first click on the Wii Options button then click on the Wii settings button again. Wait for this to load up. Scroll to page 2. Select the third option, Internet. Now click on the third option here. Now in America, in America this is confusingly called User Agreements, I believe. It is the same button as this. Just select this one. It will ask you something along the lines of Would you like to use the Wii Shop channel on Wii Connect 24? Select Yes. The screen will now fade to, fade to black. At this point I'm going to turn on a timer, because this exploit is kind of slow, and I'm not planning to cut this out, so... What you want to do is click Next, and as soon as, the page as soon as it loads up, you'll see that this is not the usual end user license agreement. Now if you're reading what this page says, it says, please wait, this will take one to two, min two minutes, and it says, do not press any of the buttons below. And in fact, don't press any buttons on your Wii remote at all, just wait. 
exactly 1 minute 25 after the page loads, uh, the exploit will trigger and you will be taken to the WeanFi disk patcher. So I'm just going to put this down and we're going to wait. I'm deliberately not cutting this out just to emphasize that no, it is it is actually going to do something. We're not just sitting here for no particular reason. And uh, yes, so I could really use something to fill the time here. Unfortunately, this wait, little waiting period, you're going to have to go through every single time you want to play online, which is not ideal. But uh, to be honest, if this is such an easy and nice entry point, and it's so much more reliable than all other entry points that we've had uh, that didn't record, that haven't required an SD card so far. So I think it is worthwhile. And 1 minute 25, while annoying, is not too long. You can go off and do something for 85 seconds, I'm sure. If it t starts taking longer than that, it might mean that things have failed and you should hold the power button for 4 seconds if that happens. This exploit can crash. However, I've done this exploit like 30 to 40 times at this point, And in all my experience with it, it's only ever crashed once. So, that's significantly better. So, we should be coming up any moment now. And there we go. A little longer than I said it was going to be. But now he's trying to get a hold of the patcher for us. This is actually taking longer than it usually would. This is usually pretty instant, actually. Oh, here we go. And suddenly it flicks to... Yeah, that took way longer than it usually does, to be honest. But hey, whatever, not complaining. It will flick to this screen, which is my disk patcher, which you may recognize from previous tutorials, or perhaps you even use it. And as soon as the patches are applied, your game will boot, whatever game you've got inserted will boot with a WinFi patch on it. And to prove this, I'm going to connect up quickly now on this license, and then I'll quickly try to find some players to demonstrate that indeed we are online and there are people out there to find. So yeah, send credit to Fullmetal5 for his work on Stir 2 Hacks, Laser Ad for his work on manipulating it for work to work with WinFi, uh, me and Chad has made the disc patcher, Ween for hosting WeanFi in the first place. And yeah. Let me go and find you a bunch of racers. There should be some people on. It's usually a pretty busy service, so... Let's find out. I'll jump cut ahead until it, until it happens. Here we are. I mean, it really isn't actually much of a jump cut. More like 10 seconds or something. <laughs> but anyway... So here is a random room of races on the WeanFi custom server, just to prove that it is all indeed working properly. This exploit, this method, doesn't only work with Mario Kart Wii, by the way. You can play lots of different Wii games online using this method. Just try different discs in, and you should be able to connect up on a bunch of them. If you want to know what games are absolutely supported and which ones have some issues, I will leave a link in the description uh, detailing it, and I will also leave a bunch of information about troubleshooting, uh, in case people run into problems with this. And yeah, well there was no live view, so let's just actually, let's, let, let's play, shall we? Let's do a brief, brief bit of gameplay. And then I'll wrap up the video. Okay, and here we are. Starting a race with the room of players I just found. And here we go. Looks like it's gonna work smoothly. Very nice. So, hey! <laughs> No! I'm doing a video tutorial here, that made me look bad. Okay, so... Hopefully this is useful to a bunch of people, especially those who had trouble getting the internet channel exploit running. And indeed, for those who came after the Wii Shop channel's closure. Because of course, the Wii Shop channel is closing next month, as of the time of this video uploading, so you won't be able to get the internet channel for much longer. So this is a nice backup, this is a completely future-proof method. Nintendo could patch this if they wanted to, all they would need to do, where they fell down effectively, is that the end user license agreement screen is not transferred over HTTPS, which means that we can supply anything to it and then abuse bugs in the system. But, uh... They're not, go they're not actually going to patch that because they haven't done any updates for Wii in years at this point. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this useful and informative and I will see you all again. Screw you, dude. I'll see you all again next time. Goodbye.